Okay, here's our first little T positive baby water monitor out of this clutch. So what's interesting about this, we bred a het female and we bred her back, uh, likely in this clutch, we bred her back to one of our visual offspring of uh, my original wild caught male. So that would be a second generation being bred to a het female. So um, you know, we're just like wine breeding these guys. So this is the first one out. It's pretty wonderful. He's so cute. He's been yawning and doing that with his tongue. So it's really cool. Look oh, cute. T positive water monitors. These will go through a big change as they grow. And then we have Jason who wants to talk very loudly. I'm playing. Shut up, I'm videotaping. So this is real cool. You can so ba basically uh, T positive babies, they um they look, they look like they're hypo when they're first born. But this one's you know quite beautiful. A lot of lavender. He's so cute. Very he's already very, very calm after just a little short time playing with them. So, you know, this whole hand fed baby bird. Thing. Uh, we are definitely hatching some remarkably friendly animals. And I'm gonna try to get this tail up here. No, I guess I can't. Well, I've done a good job making a, a out of focus video. A little great guy. It's a little bit of captive born wonderfulness. The more I play with my water monitors, the more captivated I'm finding myself. Uh, besides just looking at the, the animal and its uh, physical form, uh, the personality is uh, really holding me. I just don't think I ever knew that they could be quite all this. And uh, figuring it out, and as I've been appreciating that, I'm now setting my sights further on captive warm water monitors because uh, not enough people have them. Not enough people have access to captive born animals, and certainly not enough people understand the potential. So, hopefully, if my videos, uh, we're gonna keep moving forward on this species. Look at him. God, that's a testament to how wonderful they are. All right, say goodbye.